guys welcome back to my channel this is Millie's corner my name is Millicent Ubichi and I'm a lifestyle vlogger I vlog about life in Lagos I vlog about the life of a young lady in Lagos and I will try to find out for the hustle and bustle of Lagos so Lagos is located in Nigeria if you don't know Nigeria is located in Africa if you don't know and Africa is located on Earth so guys, what have you been doing? For me, I've been fine. These few months have been a month of recollecting myself. So I learned something recently. It's difficult for me to... I've not finished learning it. <laughs> so I'm still learning it. So I'm like, okay, let my fans hear about this. Is I want to say a piece of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a piece of my mind. I'm going to say a piece of my mind. That is that is it. I'm very good with it. And when somebody is annoying me and the person is becoming very offensive, especially when the person is older. And really, you can't really be exchanging words with this kind of people. So you are just sitting down, you are taking all the person's bullshit, you are taking everything, all the nonsense the person has to offer, you are just taking it. And you are looking at the person like, okay 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 then you have it here like yeah then you have it here self <laughs> and you're like oh oh hold on hold on you are going to hear a piece of my mind you are going to hear a piece of my mind today calm down and this is a piece of my day make no way somebody say with due respect just not an insult that is following then you give the person a piece of your mind you say it the way it's in is paining you i'm that kind of person like I want to let it out when I have things bottled within me when I'm bringing it out it's usually it's usually something not nice and in the midst you, you find out that you're being rude in because you're trying to portray your point sometimes most times this things you come out being rude because you've not been able to articulate your thoughts you've not been able to arrange us okay this is what i want to say if you are calm about it and you're you're saying your mind you're saying your point your points you might tend not to be rude but when things is boiling like i want to say it on my mind <laughs> there is nothing you're going to just insult the person so i've learned recently i learned from pastor shana I'm a church girl. <laughs> Giving a piece of your mind most times is not necessary. You don't really have to tell you with a piece of your mind. Sometimes you need to calm down. You need to really, really calm down. That is what I've learned so far. And I noticed that, okay, I think I must have lost some opportunities in life. I think I must have made some mistakes, mistakes by just giving a piece of my mind. It happens. It happens. I'm sure I'm, I'm not just the one on this table. It could be with your boss in the office. It could be with your elder, your elder one, your elder siblings. It could be with your parents. It could be with your uncles and aunties. It could be just people. Most times, these are people that are way older or higher. They could even be on the same level level with you. But most times, these are people that are older or in higher positions than you have and they have offended you. It's okay to say your mind, but you have to. It's okay to say your mind. It's okay to be truthful, but sometimes a piece of your mind is not necessary. Just take that. It's not necessary. It's not. Imagine you have a boss in the office and the boss is just being nasty. The boss just wants to offend you. What we don't. What I feel to realize before is that these people, they know what they are doing. They know they're offending you. They know that getting that getting on your toes. They know that touching your tail. <laughs> and not just touching your tail. That dragging your tail. They know they're offending you. Most nasty people know they're nasty. Yes, some people just know. Some people know. They just haven't accepted this. But they know somewhere. I, I, can't, I don't want to believe that they don't know. They know somewhere. Like me, I sometimes I know I can be overbearing. Sometimes, when I choose to be, I can be annoying. And when I'm annoying, I know I am annoying. <laughs> so sometimes people just people are like that, and giving them a piece of your mind 
they already know they're just looking for an opportunity to rope you in to tie you and say that yes you were rude to me so because of that i'm going to do this to you so sometimes just keep a piece of your mind calm down calm down okay so i went for an interview recently a big interview and it was annoying no <laughs> it was annoying because this was not the first stage this was not the second stage this was not the third stage like i felt like okay you know when they said that okay come and have a meeting with the chairman come and, you know that okay you're, you're almost you're almost at it and i'm trying i'm trying to be very very, very careful <laughs> So, okay, we're just two left. We're just two out of the whole interview and everything. We're just two left, and so just between me and this person. And I noticed that at every stage of the interview, I have to go with my CV, I have to answer the same questions. And I'm just wondering, like, okay, I thought you guys would filter distance. Ask me more challenging questions. Ask me better things. Stop asking me that you have experience. Of course, my CV, with my CV, you will know if I have experience or not. Stop asking me the basics. Then we got to the final stage, and a lady came and the lady called me, and she was asking questions, and I'm looking at her. And the questions she was asking me were the same questions they've been asking before. And I'm looking at her, like, okay, thank okay. you. And she was just talking and talking and talking. So, it would, hmm. Through the conversation, I found out that she was just an accountant and probably she just close to people at the top. And she didn't have to ask this question. In fact, she didn't have to interview us. And I'm looking like, okay, okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> she didn't have to talk to us. She was just supposed to pass and go. And she was asking us unnecessary questions. The old millicents would be like, Excuse me. Like, excuse me. I've been answering these questions for a long time. Can you just make up your mind and get to it? And by the way, are you even giving us this job or not? You know these Nigerian this Nigerian people, they will make life frustrate you. Um, they will make life frustrate you. No, they will frustrate you. <laughs> And I was just looking at her. At a point, I stopped talking. I was like, okay, okay. I was just smiling. Like, should I? Should I not? Should I tell her that I'm not so worried? <laughs> I'm not so worried. I can take off at any time. I'm like, no, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I was looking at her and I was smiling. And she, she, she kept asking questions. I'm like, you're a nice girl. You're calm. I'm just looking at her like. I'm not nice. I'm not calm. I'm just trying to hold myself. So, some minutes later, the person in charge came, and when I saw them around, what kind of they were kind of arguing. I was asking the person like, "Okay, so why are you talking to them?" My man, I'm like, "Okay, tell me I didn't take off because somebody else challenged her. Imagine I have TikTok and I've told her a piece of my mind." <laughs> I have to, it might have just cost something else now. They just, everybody just be like, oh, she's rude, she can't get the job, oh, she's this, she's that, she blah, 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 blah. So many things would have gone wrong. They would have looked for, that would have been just an excuse that she was waiting for to happen. And I was just saved by, saved by the clock. So sometimes, time, time. You see those people that should know better, especially the elderly ones. Those elderly ones that just find a reason to offend you. I know when somebody your age or your peers are offending you, you kind of find an excuse for that. They don't know anything, Jerry. They're immature. That these are just like that. Just being a hater is is excusable for me. But when those adults, those so-called adults, God forgive me, those so-called adults that are older than you, when they're acting stupid, you just want to call them out by their bullshit. Like, hey, 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 call them take a piece of your, of my mind, please. Let's just try as much as possible. Let's just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Each time you have the urge to give somebody a piece of your mind, she will do it too. Sometimes those people don't know what it. You understand? So don't be like me that's always giving people a piece of my mind and losing out on opportunities that you should have gained from. 
I just remember something. You know when you're working on the road and one old man that is older than your father is trying to ask you out on the road and you're just looking at this person like if I talk to you, <laughs> if I give you a piece of my mind then you go and sleep. Those are the kind of scenarios I'm talking about. So so thank you guys for watching my channel, for listening to me bounce today. See you guys when it's, and see this channel is not going. So if you know anybody that knows anybody that knows anybody, please, please, and please, 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 help me to like, comment, and share.